Bacon makes an excellent Christmas gift, and this is the Today on the Epic Christmas Countdown, we're going to talk about the reason why we have Christmas, kind of the story behind how the holiday came to be. Now, you have a lot of people out there this time of year that keep saying that Jesus is reason for the season. Um, and those people kind of frustrate me because typically they really don't know what they're talking about because they're Christians and American. American Christians. Now, before I get every conservative, uptight, right-wing Republican out there coming after me telling me that I'm a heretic, let's clear something off the table. I'm not in any way trying to say that Jesus is not important, that we should not celebrate Jesus' birthday on Christmas. Not what I'm trying to say whatsoever. So before you go putting words in my mouth and trying to say that I'm saying something I'm not actually saying, hear what I'm saying so that you know that I'm saying what I'm actually saying, not something that I'm not actually saying. Exactly. Jesus is a, a good portion, or rather the church is a good portion of how we have Christmas uh, and the church's intention with being Jesus in mind, for the most part, um, is, is a big part of why we have Christmas. But it's not the entire story. There's a little bit more to it. There is actually a pagan holiday, Roman pagan holiday, called Saturn, Sat, Saturnalia, Nalia, Saturnalia, Sat, Saturnalia, um, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce the word. I'm probably saying it completely wrong and somebody will probably correct me. That's fine. But it was a pagan holiday that was celebrated. There's a lot of different things that they did, which we're going to get to in other episodes because those kind of play into other traditions that we have now. But, uh, they celebrated this holiday in worship of another god and the christian church came along and was trying to convert people now naturally if you have an amazing holiday going on at the time and some other religions trying to get you to do what they want uh you're not going to want to give up an awesome holiday basically it was an entire week where there is no laws none you can do whatever you wanted you anything anything absolutely anything you can do it i don't i i don't quite understand why we got away from that because that sounds like an awesome deal i would race everywhere in ohio in the winter that's a great idea i now understand why we got rid of that and they would also take an enemy of rome i get some sort of prisoner that uh, they really didn't like at the time and they would make him the lord of misrule basically he got one week to go do whatever the heck he wanted, caused all kinds of trouble, and his job was to keep the party going. He would just run into people's houses and start fist pumping and spray spray on tan on everybody and just have a good old jolly time with himself. And at the end of the week, they killed him. It's kind of like a one last shebang and, you know, he was probably going to die anyway. Probably, maybe not, but probably going to die anyway. And so they just said, hey, have a week, go have a good time, because we're going to kill you when you're done. Uh, I don't understand. If they could do anything, why don't they just run away? Just go. I mean, there's no laws for the week, right? Just steal a boat, sail away. Uh, whatever. They, origins of Christmas aren't the most intelligent, apparently. The church came along and said, hey, why don't you join our religion? To which people responded, our holiday is pretty freaking awesome. Huh? Awesome holiday. What do you got? The church said, um, you can still have your holiday. No, nothing wrong with holidays. Have all your feasts, you know, go do whatever else you want to do. Plus, you can give presents. We'll let you give presents to which people uh, freaked out and, and said, okay, yeah. Now, there are obviously more details that go to this story. I'm just kind of condensing and putting everything into my own words. So don't take me word for word on all of this story. 
but it's a little bit closer than what we get fed every year. So, and now that brings us to the end of today's episode where we uh, let you know how many days it is to Christmas. <laughs> Is that right? That can't be right. That's probably right. That is all we have for the Christmas countdown for today. Tune in tomorrow for more Christmasness.